Hey everybody, this is Saladin again. I'm actually going to be going over Star Made uh, power blocks, the proper way to set them up and use them in ships. Now it may seem like a simple thing to set up power blocks, but it actually is not in Star Made. Uh, there are common misconceptions of how they work and I want to clear that up with this tutorial so stay tuned uh, I'm gonna cut out here and we're gonna go and start learning about power blocks welcome back power blocks okay there's four ways to set them up and two ways are pretty much the only way to set them up efficiently uh, one of those ways uh, single block setup, second way is lines of blocks, and then we have XYZ, which I'll go over, and then we have big block of them, basically just setting up a big old block of them, as many as you can in a block, a uh, 3x3 three three block, or so on and so forth, so a 2x2 two two block of four of them, uh, which isn't really efficient. Uh, what we're going to go over first is we're going to go over each one of them, but we're going to go over the single block setup first. All right, we have single block setup right here. There's 12 blocks. All these examples have 12 blocks, uh, 12 power blocks. And with the single block setup, they're just single blocks, not anywhere touching any of the other ones on the sides. Uh, corners, of course, doesn't matter. But we have here no connection to other blocks. This one outputs at 1690.1 e a second, which is energy a second. Uh, if you if you can, you can actually pause it and go to that screenshot, and it'll actually give you the power output and how many blocks are being used. Okay, now this is not the efficient way to do this. Uh, it does it's. A, it's actually the third efficient way of doing it and the next one we go over is the lines of power blocks now this is the second efficient as it is going in one direction now if you connect them in any bit it will stop being efficient anymore so we have here we have single lines of power in one direction the XYZ okay and this one puts out 1527.6 so this one actually the single power blocks actually puts out more power for it but you're using up a lot more area so it's per area that you're going to be putting these in now the third way of doing this is the XYZ now this one is going in all directions X Y Z center block is the only connection on all sides so right in the center of this is a one block and on the X Y Z coordinates or on the axis you're putting it out on there now in this one one lump of power blocks now this one only puts out 789.1 energy a second now it is the most inefficient way of doing it if anything put them in single blocks down there now what I'm going to show you is this one puts out 1889.2 energy a second using the XYZ this is 1527.6 with lines of power and then 1690.1 as single blocks now the single blocks yes as I said take up more room than the lines so if you're trying to go for room this would be the most efficient for you instead of doing the blocks the single blocks this on the other hand is the most efficient way you can put um, the only way to really explain this is if you're doing it in this all the power in basically in this area is being generated now this 
little block here is of course the block of power which will not work at all now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you real quick uh, let me cut out and show you the XYZ is what I was talking about okay well now we have this nice little thing right here um, XYZ this is what it means by putting it in this grouping now if you don't have it in this grouping it does not output the most amount of power the most efficient amount of power now there are other ways of doing it that you can put in a block of three you can have more of an output up to I believe 2120 is about the highest that I've gotten on a three by three area now it is up to you which one to use but I usually use this XYZ one as that is pretty much the most efficient way of doing it but if I'm constricted to the height or width or anything like that I use the lines um, and if I can I put a couple single blocks in just sitting there randomly talk to you soon alright well in the long run we have single block setup produces 1690.1 e a second we have lines of blocks 1527.6 e a second then we have the XYZ 1889.2 e a second and then a big block of them at 789.1 e a second so it is up to you how you want to set them up but my preference is the XYZ and lines of blocks. Uh, what I will have at the end of this is a pretty much just me building them. And that way it will give you a better idea of what I mean of how to build them uh, with the XYZ in particular. Uh, single block setup, I don't really have to go over that. Lines of blocks you kind of you should have already got the hint on that one just lines of blocks in a direction uh, XYZ because this is a 3d space and XYZ I will build them and I'll actually build a couple little different designs and probably talk through them a little bit for you but the tutorial is over and I uh, hope you did learn something here real quick but uh, stay tuned and more tutorials will come up um, on my YouTube page. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and talk to you soon. Okay, let us start building the XYZ here. So we go into build mode, and I've already put 12 power modules in here to illustrate that I'm only using 12. And you can see off to the uh, left hand side here that we have zero power right now. So what we're going to do is build our, first build our main line, is what I like to call it. So we have four going up, and what we're going to do is put two on each side. Just like so. Now that's the basic setup for it. You can expand this out, you can do whatever you need to do with it. Um, but that does produce the most amount of power for the 18 or for 12 power cores but if you're like me and you want to make sure that you can uh, put the most amount of power within a 3x3 three three area what we're going to do is let me move my power cores down here so now what I like to do here is we're going to go up here. I'm going to do my three. Okay. What we're going to do is do something like this. Now, what we're doing here is filling in the dead areas that we can put a power in with a power. Now, what I do is I like to fill these up with um, the power capacitors once I'm done and that'll fill in all the empty holes for me but we're up to 2051.6 EU a second 
or E a second I should say not in Minecraft right now now it is up to you of how you want to set this up um, this is the best way that I found to set it up um, others may have other ways of doing it uh, you may look online and see some old designs of setting up power uh, with a 5x5 five five block so what I might do here is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna spawn we're gonna say power a 5x5 five by five, by five. so we're gonna power that up there we go so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna build our base which is gonna be this right here now I haven't built it in a while so bear with me here now what we're doing here is using up using up all the available room for the 5x5 five five, just like we did with the 3x3 three three. now I build these on occasion on some of my ships but most of the time I tend to stay away from them I usually build either the 3x3 three three or I make a big um, collage of them so to speak in different designs which helps out tremendously now what we need to do is set up our center here now each one of these is going to have the basic same basic design on all sides Now this has been one of those designs that has traveled through um, Star Made for quite a while. Um, anybody that has played Star Made knows this design probably by the back of their hand just like I do almost because it it's one of those designs that we know by heart almost I say almost because not everybody knows it by heart and of course I forgot the one spot right here now most of the time people fill these in with a with the uh, power capacitors just so they have uh, power capacitors in there um, now for me I usually do uh, fill it up with power capacitors or I fill it up with shielding just depends on what the need is at that point in time um, now it gets a little tricky when you start building this because you don't want to put them in the wrong spots because yeah it's going to defeat the purpose of building efficient power all right almost done here all right and as you notice all sides are pretty much the same so what I like to do here is set up this one there and there is our 5x5 five five. that's outputting 9520 now you can put the power capsules in there um, you want power power capacitor sorry now the best way of doing that to fill in is using uh, the advanced build mode which I will go over in a another video so 
So what we're gonna do is click on there. We're gonna take out some of these. Now I could have done it the smart way and shrunk down my area that I was putting the five by five in. But of course that would have been the smart thing to do. So what I'm gonna do is shrink just shrink that down. There we go. Now as you see our power is up to uh, 99,000 to store it. Uh, it starts off as 50. So that 5x5 five five right there is giving you plenty of power to pretty much power anything that you might need. Um, I will hopefully have more tutorials on any designs that anybody has comments about. Um, any questions about the power designs. Uh, feel free to leave comments below and as always be creative and have a good one.